It was a bit of a wait, but it's finally here. The iPhone 14 Plus, the big brother to the iPhone 14. I know you've had a lot of iPhone 14 videos already, but in this video, I'm going to tell you how this phone is different from the iPhone 14, as well as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, your gadget matchmaker. And over the last few years, I've made it my job to show people around the world that tech can be easy, fun, and exciting. On this channel, I give you special access to the products I review, the events I attend, and all the exciting people I get to meet along the way. And most importantly, I help you find the right gadget to match your needs. This is our iPhone 14 Plus unboxing and hands-on. All right, let's see what's inside. You know the drill by now. Look for the green arrow and pull. All right, let's see what's inside. Beautiful. Let's take a closer look. Nice and creamy. Definitely more on the lavender side. Also in the box, welcome packet. Information about the SIM card. If you've missed any of our previous iPhone 14 videos, how dare you? How dare you? But in short, this is basically a message to tell you that in the US, the iPhone 14 series, whatever model that you purchase, do not have SIM card slots. Instead, they only have eSIMs. All the information is at apple.com slash eSIM. Warranty information and an Apple sticker. And a lightning to USB-C cable. Let's peel this off before we do some size comparisons. Hopefully that was satisfying enough. Before I forget, let's also take a look at the silicone case in lilac. Very pretty and a perfect match, don't you think? I love these cases because they're nice and soft and grippy. And they really complement the color of this purple iPhone 14 Plus very well. Soon after. Now time for some size comparisons. Here it is side by side with the purple iPhone 14. And here it is alongside my deep purple 14 Pro Max. Notice the 14 and 14 Plus have glossy backs while the 14 Pro Max has a matte back. But if you flip them on the side, the 14 and 14 Plus have matte aluminum frames while the 14 Pro Max has a, as you can see, very smudgy, glossy frame made of stainless steel. Because it is a very faint color, depending on the light, it might sometimes look like a white phone. But obviously the differences are more than just what's on the outside. The other differences we'll discuss next. Before we continue, a brief message from this video's sponsor, Unreal. This is the Unreal Air. Nope, they're not a pair of regular sunglasses. They are consumer-ready AR glasses. They're lightweight and compact and are designed to be packed for just about anywhere. I love using them to watch videos on YouTube wherever I may be, whether around the house, on the subway, or even on a plane. Watching movies on them makes the experience more immersive. Unreal says the AR experience is equivalent to a 201-inch IMAX screen. And while it's got its own cinematic sound system with noise-canceling capabilities, I like to pair it with the third-generation AirPods Pro. So not only can I tune out any background noise, I get spatial audio too. It's compatible with my new iPhone 14 Plus. All you need is a USB-C cable, the Unreal adapter, and Apple's digital AV adapter. It's just plug and play. And just like that, I get a view of my screen superimposed on the real world. The Unreal Air is now available in the US for $379 and the Unreal adapter for an additional $59. I'll put all the details and the links in the description box below. So, how is the iPhone 14 different from the iPhone 14 Plus? I'm happy to report that the answer is very simple. For the most part, apart from their size, the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus are the same phone. So, if you're torn between the two, it all boils down to what you're looking for and which size 
you like better. Maybe you want a bigger screen for games or videos, or if you're like my dad and want larger text, then the iPhone 14 Plus is for you. But I have a lot of friends who just don't want a big phone. And don't worry, if you choose the iPhone 14, you're not really compromising. In terms of screen size, and I've said it earlier in this video, the 14 has a 6.1 inch display, while the 14 Plus has a 6.7 inch display. Because of its bigger chassis, the iPhone 14 Plus also has a bigger battery. Otherwise, that's it. Obviously, because of their size, both of them with 6.7 inch displays, the comparisons between the iPhone 14 Plus and the iPhone 14 Pro Max are to be expected. The iPhone 14 Plus tops up at 512 gigabytes, while the 14 Pro Max goes up to one terabyte. Something to keep in mind if you plan on holding on to your phone as long as possible and want as much storage as you can on a phone. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is 240 grams, so it's a tad bit heavier than the 14 Plus. It's very minimal, but the 14 Pro Max has smaller bezels. If you look closely, it's the display tech which sets itself apart. Meaning the iPhone 14 Plus has a notch, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max feels like a newer iPhone with all the new animations that give its new punch hole life. The screen is supposedly brighter outdoors. Technology wise, that is, it's been raining over the last few days, so I can't really show you. The iPhone 14 Pro Max has a ProMotion display with a 120 Hertz refresh rate. And more importantly, it has Dynamic Island. Like any smartphone comparison, you cannot not talk about the SoC or the chip powering these new iPhones. And this year, Apple decided to do things differently. Unlike last year where they were the same, this year Apple is using the iPhone's SoC to differentiate models. The Pro models have a new A16 Bionic chip, while the 14 series, including the new iPhone 14 Plus, have last year's A15 Bionic chip. That just means the iPhone 14 Pro series can do more, but don't worry about it. Even if it's a year old, Apple's A15 Bionic chip is still powerful, debatably, versus some of the best Android SoCs out there. So you're not really sacrificing much if you choose to go with the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. Obviously, if it isn't clear from these two different camera modules, the iPhone 14 Plus has two cameras, a wide and an ultra wide, while the iPhone 14 Pro Max has three wide, ultra wide, and zoom. And all of these cameras are different no matter which way you look at it. The iPhone 14 Pro series has more superior cameras and based on my tests versus the iPhone 14, apart from the lack of a telephoto camera, I say the differences are minimal. The iPhone 14 and 14 Plus also do not have macro mode. Understandably, you want to see more and as you've done on this channel for most of this year, we'll be putting this phone through its paces for a first 24 hours video as well as a review coming a month later. If you'd like to see those videos, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified as soon as we publish it. Follow me on social media for all, all the behind the scenes fun stuff and as always, make gadgetmatch.com your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.